Chelsea won, Nottingham Forest won, and this game was fire. We were doing a split screen watch live on TikTok. By the way, guys, we're always live on TikTok during such games. Um, it's it's actually wild because on Thursday, United and Chelsea were playing at the same time. Today, United and Chelsea are playing at the same time again. This game was really, really fun. Nottingham Forest ended up uh, finishing the game with, <laughs> with a red card. One of the funniest red cards you'll see, uh, James Ward-Prowse, uh, Nottingham Forest had a corner. Then Chelsea were... Sort of not really about to counter, but the ball came to Ward Prowse when he's at the back. So during corners, of course, you know you're not going to have your biggest people outside defending, right? So it's either your fullbacks or one of your def- or one of your midfielders. So the ball comes to him, and then he missed, he miss, he miscontrols it, slips, and then he sees Jackson coming for the ball, and he's like, "Nah, bro, nah, I'm going all in for this one." He just dives, whoop, holds the ball. It was an amazing, amazing, amazing recovery if it was rugby. <laughs> but this is football we're playing. And that was a second yellow card. And he knew. He was already walking off before he was even shown the red card. He had to be called back to be given the red card to go back outside. Um, and yeah, so that's how Nottingham Forest were playing with 10 men. But the game was insane. The one thing I'll say about Chelsea is, first of all, we have so many Chelsea fans who, was, who watch this channel. Mbakata ni meshanga. Na shanga kwa ni tuwepata fans wengu wa Chelsea aje. So... I'll be doing a lot more effort because some of you said, oh, we don't do enough research. Uh, we do do research, but you can only do so much research if you're trying to talk about all teams. But I will, I will make, I will put in more effort to talk about your team for sure. Um, so one thing I realized is that the width was really causing Nottingham Forest problems. The width Sancho and Madueke had was allowing Cole Palmer to just roam in the middle. Nicholas Ch- uh, Jackson... Nick Jax has also become very good. This is one thing that I've seen that he's developed the last... Ever, since Villarreal, I didn't see this in him because I... I mean, two seasons ago, I watched a lot of La Liga. Last season, I watched a bit of it, not too much. This season, I'm also, I'm also trying to get back to it. But they really... Um, he's really improved as someone who drops back, picks the ball from defense uh, or the middle of the park and then just passes it off and runs straight, you know? Like, runs straight to occupy those spaces to make sure that Nottingham Forest have something to worry about. So... His dropping in midfield was really good, but the wing play is where everything happens. Madueke and Sancho, they are so wide. And then when they get the ball, they're literally attacking in those spaces. Malogusto is now allowed to come into the center. Kukurea is just being his solid self, typical, like, no nonsense. Me, I'm just going to do things that are going to help the team. And just a reliable human being. <laughs> he just looks like a reliable human being. Forget about a football player. He just looks like a reliable human being. That's why I really love Kukurea and... If you guys watched during the Euros, he was one of my standout players. He was one of five standout players alongside Cardiolu, Calafiori, uh, Tijani Reinders. Like, he was one of those players. I was like, dude, this guy is going to kill it this season. And he's clearly usurped Chilwell as the starting left back. Because what he was doing for Spain showed me that... Because at Chelsea, he was struggling. Mind you, Chelsea, yes, they're a talented team, but they're not dominating teams. They're not dominating... So I, I saw him in a struggling side, and he was a shining light in a, stri- in a struggling side. And for him to go to Spain and actually also be a standout performer and not get benched, considering the talent they have, it, it was obvious to me that he was going to start the season well. So Kukurea, to me, is... is I would actually say one of the... To me, he'd be, he'd be, he's in... Okay, I'm, this is out of the blue, so I haven't thought about it, but I'm struggling to think of, let me just say top three left backs in the league because I'm trying to think, I'm struggling to think who I'd put over him. But I don't say he's the, he's the top because I can't think of it right now, but I'll think about it. But yeah, the boy the boy is good. The boy is good. Um, so obviously, yeah, first half game ended nil-nil. Then going into the second half, actually the Chelsea really peppered Nottingham Forest goal. Like, like they were really coming at them. They, they didn't have clear-cut chances in the first half, but it was either a corner Chelsea or a shot on target or goes off. or, um, or The defense was just being tested severely by these, especially Sancho and Madueke. Then obviously second half, um, Nottingham Forest end up scoring. Second half started very cheapy. People wanted to fight. I was like, why this why why does everyone want to fight on this field? And then it extended to Nicholas Jackson being dumb in the middle of the park. The ball is going away from your goal. It's going towards Nottingham Forest. Good. You're the only person, literally you and I can't remember who else. It was it was it Murillo, not Murillo. It was either Milenkovic or Murillo, one of them. He's running back towards his goal in the middle of the field, and then you push him. And that led to a free kick, right? It was such a dumb free kick to, to concede. Okay, I get it. It's also not too close, so it's not too dumb. 
but it's gem what gems what browse on the free kick like he put it perfectly for milenkovic to head it down for none other than chris wood to just slide and make it one nil and nottingham forest now the confidence is up they almost felt like they were playing um in the liverpool game because when they got the goal in the second half they were like okay let's try and hold on to this and see if we can um get a result here and obviously they won that game and i'm sure from that game they got confidence they were like okay we're at another top club and we are we leading one nil let's see how we can close it out but um oh and then anderson had a chance a very good chance a, almost a, almost a, a free shot in the d but he hit it straight at nick uh, robert sanchez who to me was amazing today um i need to give him shout out cuz i've really really talked badly about him especially after his performance versus brighton but today he was he he really came through then yeah 57 minute madueke scores to make it 1-1 but i want you guys to look at that goal again in as much as madueke scored colpama got the assist that goal came from sancho's end sancho occupies defenders like the moment he got the ball the defender is looking at him like yo what is he going to do like i have to and then once he passes the first cuz he has the knack he has the ability to beat the first man akisha beat first man sinivo ana kuja tu ndani vizuri ana kama ndani and then he played it with uh, played it to kaisedo kaisedo take, gives it back to him and then by that time amesakin kila mtu then he passes on to palma who is now the most dangerous person sancho has destabilized the defense on that side so I know the Madueke scored the goal but Sancho what Sancho did in the build up to that goal was everything. Then the ball comes to uh, Palma who just lays it off, gets another assist for just passing the ball, right? It was like it was a great pass, but it's still an assist and it counts. So you can't take it away from him. Um yeah, then Madueke does well to slot it into the corner to make it 1-1. And it's like that rejuvenated Madueke because a minute later he had a header that was uh, saved by Matt Sells who's another person who had a really good game. The two keepers had a, had really good games. And then a minute later again Madoke gets another shot that goes over the bar. And at this point Nottingham Forest just needed to calm things down, which they did for the next 10 or so minutes. They just uh calmed everything down. Then the next uh big thing was obviously Morgan Gibbs white injury. It doesn't look good. Um and he was able to walk it off, but even the way he went down, he it, it didn't look good. So yeah, he was injured he was taken off it's one of the reasons why they added 13 minutes to this game it took a while for him to get treated and taken off so hopefully he'll be um it's not too long that is out but he's definitely going to be out um then obviously we got the red card in the 78th minute and then the next thing was in the 90th minute when um um which i think was too long he took too long to take off this guy so taking off uh, i mean to bring on mudrick and kunku i don't mind Sancho and Madueke going off I just think you need to give those guys more time cuz you're so stuck in those positions literally your wing areas you're stuck at the wings and if you're fully fit you're really stuck at full back right because you have Rhys James Malogusto the 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 best two right backs in any team and then that said you have Kukurea and Chilwell the best two left backs like in terms of a duo left back and right back no one has a better duo than Chelsea but also they have many players so but no one has a better duo So I think that cuz you have so many talented players give them 30 minutes bring them in after 60 uh, take them off after 60 and bring whoever on you know I I guess Madueke was also playing really well especially after the goal around the 60th minute so you gave him a, a bit more time um then the ball then what happened then there was um oh there was that big fight that happened just after the 90th minute um yeah it was it was all to do with nothing but i don't know how kukurea was booked he was nowhere near that he was uko he was just chilling gets booked i don't even know how that happens then now joao felish came on and yo this game was just in like up from that point on like from 90 moving on to like 103 cuz it was 113 minutes 30 minutes added Joao Felix header from the um, uh, Neto cross can you believe they brought on all these guys they brought in Mudrik Nkunku Neto and Joao but they, I I felt like some of these subs were too actually let me just confirm when the subs happened um I know for a fact the Mudrik and Nkunku ones happened in the 90th minute exactly 90 and then Joao Felix and Nkunku came in the 81st minute so not too bad um I guess also you don't want to make okay I get it I guess you don't want to make all those changes at the same time but I believe someone like Neto should have come on um a bit earlier. Uh, uh okay, Nkunku came on 81. I'm sorry. Nkunku came on 81. So Nkunku came on 81 and Joao came on 81. Then it was Mudrik and Neto who came in the 90. So um yeah, small mistake there, but yeah. 
I, I guess I guess it makes sense, but I still feel if you're going to bring in Neto needs to come in earlier, in my opinion, right? Neto needs to come in earlier. You, he has shown he can be a game changer. He's also one of the wingers who has scored for you this season. Scored a hat. Has he scored a hat trick? There's been three players who scored hat tricks this season. There's been Kunku, there's been Palmer, and Omadweke. So I think Neto had a had assist and goal somewhere. But yeah. I, I I would think you bring him earlier. You bring him in earlier. And then Joe Felice somewhere in the 80. Or you just make a triple sub. Neto, Felice, and Kunku at the same time. Why not? You're playing against 10 men anyway. So anyway, that's just my opinion. The, there was a good Neto cross. Felice headers wide in the 92nd minute. There was a big chance. Then there was um, a big... Uh, 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 there was a... No. Nottingham Forest won a free kick somewhere in the middle of the field. I'm trying to remember what happened. Middle of the field. Then they kicked it wide. Then the ball went to Elanga. Elanga's back heel to Nico Williams. And then Williams tries to curl it to the far post. And then there was a big, big save by Robert Sanchez. And at that point, you're like, yo, Nottingham Forest is about to win this game. And then Chelsea get the ball, pass it to Mudrik. Mudrik just runs, runs. One of his best attributes. This is what he does best. He was like, I'm putting this ball head down and I'm running. And he just ran. And then the ball went to, was it Nkunku? Uh, yeah, he crossed it for Nkunku. And then the header, Cell saves it. And then Chelsea, the one thing Chelsea did so well is that they were taking the corners quickly. Like, no wasting time. The ball is back in. It comes back. Malogusto shot. Saved. The ball comes back to Palmer. Then Palmer curls it and then it just goes outside like the far post. And that was like in the space of, that was like two minutes of just action. Just back to back to back to back. And then finally, Murillo gets a header in the 103rd minute of the game after 13 minutes. And Sanchez makes a brilliant save to rescue a point for Chelsea. And that is how the game ended 1-1. This game was highly, highly entertaining. Um, I expected, I, I, I predicted a Chelsea win 4-2. But I also say that if there's Nottingham Forest is a team that's just going to cause problems for many teams. And also, they still have the confidence of having won here last year after Elanga scored that goal, right? So I knew they would come and play with confidence. I knew that they'd cause problems, but I still believed Chelsea would win the game. Um, and then after the red card today, when it was 1 1, I, I was very sure that they would get a result. But that didn't happen. And yeah, that is how the game ended 1 1. And Chelsea, Nottingham Forest. Aston Villa, Man United, both games and in draws.